Hi everyone! In this video I want to share with you guys how I made this painting with acrylics. Uh, you can follow it step by step and I want to share more process videos because personally I learn a lot from looking at other people's process so I really hope that you can use one of the things I'm showing you for your own work maybe. Okay, let's start with the materials for the sketching face. Uh, I'm using this Arches Hot Press watercolor paper, size A4. These three mechanical pencils. One pencil with red leads from Stedler, one with graphite leads. I prefer to be because it just makes it a little uh, darker. And a smaller uh, mechanical pencil with a 2mm lead for uh, tiny details. And my favorite tool, a uh, kneadable eraser. So I already made this sketch with red pencil and many people ask me why I use this. Uh, but it's just a personal preference. It doesn't uh, smudge that easily and it's a bit harder to erase than graphite. So I really like it for the first light uh, sketch phase. And in this case I'm drawing a flower so it's also a nice undertone. I will sketch on top of it with graphite and uh, I will smudge the areas that need to be darker. I just add more shadow under his body and then also under his uh, wing to give it more depth. And I also will do this for the rest of the drawing, so under the flower, etc. Okay, step two is painting with acrylics. Uh, I use golden acrylics for this and I'm going to, for the matte option because if you choose glossy uh, you won't be able to sketch on top of that because it has a plastic kind of surface and uh, that will be too smooth for the pencil. I'm also using Van Gogh paint. I, I hear this pronounced uh, a lot of times as Van Gogh or something but it's Van Gogh, you know, the Dutch, <laughs> they, they use the Gogh. For the background it's handy to use a bigger brush and a smaller brush for the edges so you can make it blend before the paint dries. Now this is fast forward but I have to say that I uh, paint the backgrounds uh, pretty quickly because uh, the paint dries and then you get these uh, ugly spots. So for the background I'm using a lot of white, uh, some burnt uh, sienna and black and um, on the paper it's always different than on this little piece of uh, carbon, uh, so I keep it really light. Because I use a lot of water with the paint, I can paint on top of the sketch without erasing it or something. Uh, I would do this differently now, but what I used to do is uh, paint really lightly on top of the drawing. And this way it's easier to paint your sketch. Um, I know that in the beginning, if you start with painting for the first time, it can be challenging. And you can be quite afraid to destroy your whole drawing with your painting face. And this way, I don't know, it makes it a little bit easier to make that transition from drawing to painting. So if you want to begin with painting and you are afraid, then this would be my number one tip because it worked for me and I still like the transparent effect. So I'm adding a little bit of white on the wings and then I'm going to uh, draw uh, further on top of the painting layer. I do this because it makes uh, sharper darker lines than if I would do it uh, under the painting layer. And this way I can just uh, add more uh, shadows and you know, maybe this is a weird process, but I like the effect, so uh, there are no rules. Uh, and I'm also using this uh, smudger. Uh, it's uh, just a paper roll, but you can use it in a lot of ways. And I would really recommend uh, something like that. I add more color to the leaves with this pilot pencil. Um, I choose the pilot one if I have to uh, cover bigger surfaces, uh, but it is a little bit more pinkish than the uh, Stedler one, so that's why I prefer the other one, also because it's more sturdy and this one uh, you can erase a little bit easier. 
Now I'm going to paint all these happy colors in the middle of the flower with a Liquitex paint and this small flat brush. Yeah, years ago I saw this beautiful photograph of a girl with a lot of confetti that was uh, thrown on top of her and since then I've been using a lot of uh, confetti or dots uh, in my paintings. In the end, I'm just adding uh, some final touches here and there, where it's just needed. And uh, yeah, then it's finished. I'm going to make more videos for sure. And I would love to hear from you what would you like to see. Like uh, short quick tip videos or longer videos. Any special requests. Uh, just let me know in the comments below. I hope that this was helpful for you and that you like this little insight. <laughs> bye bye.